Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about our laundry room refresh. Let's get into what the laundry room looked like before. It's a little embarrassing because it is absolutely a mess. We used this space to just throw everything in and we had no care for how it looked because we were focusing on other spaces. So the first step is obviously cleaning and reorganizing and making sure that we have a good base that's not over cluttered. After that, it was time for us to head to Ikea so we could get storage boxes and this cute little rail system. We picked up these cute boxes from Ikea that were only $8.99 a piece and I think they were super spacious and worked really well for hiding a lot of our cleaning supplies and some of the uglier items that we didn't want on display. So the whole laundry room is white, which I wasn't really a fan of, it just didn't have a lot of personality, so I wanted to paint the door a bold color because this door in particular is something that you can see from the kitchen, um, just the way that our, our house is built, it's like a long hallway and you can see it at the end. So I did that and then I also added that window film that we used in the kitchen and I think it turned out really well. Now it's time to remove that ugly makeshift shelf. So here's some footage of me staining this random piece of wood for fun apparently because it ended up not working out at all. This was not stable enough to hold anything um, and it was just bowed and kind of water damaged. Um, so here's us trying to figure out how we can make it work and it really just wasn't working out. So we put stuff on it and it would kind of just like slope off and we were planning on putting glass on this so it did have to be pretty sturdy so that nothing Thing fell anywhere so we headed to Lowe's and found a piece that was the perfect size and then we stained that and then added this rail system that we got from Ikea so this water heater is a huge eyesore so I wanted to cover it up and we had this photography backdrop stand so I just put on a shower curtain to cover it up we had some leftover paint and I really wanted to paint this wall because it was just so white and blank and I wanted to add some interest and some more color to the space. After all that was done, it's time for some finishing touches. Then it was time to hang this beautiful painting that my husband's grandmother painted and I think it is beautiful in this space and inspired a lot of the colors that we use throughout. And then I added these two paintings that were from an antique shop. On the shelf I added a mix of decorative and functional pieces. Now it's time to look at how the space turned out. It feels so great to have a space that is finally functional, we know where everything is and it's completely organized and it's nice to walk back here every single day and look at how much of a difference it was to just organize and add some decorative pieces. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up below and then also subscribe because I'm going to be doing a video on every single space that we have redone. So I hope you'll follow along on the journey and I'll see you next time.